Welcome to Savage Kitchen. It's about to be Valentine's Day, which means a lot of us are going to be heavily drinking. However, if there is somebody special in your life that you'd like to get a gift for for the holiday, I want to put together a couple of great gift ideas for those cocktail lovers in your life. So, where to begin? Whiskey. We begin with whiskey. We should always begin with whiskey. So some of the most amazing people in my life either are veterans or support veteran causes. And in thinking about that, I wanted to find cocktail related gifts that would connect to that part. And the couple of bottles I wanna talk about are really special, not just because they are veteran owned and operated, but also because they are incredible whiskeys. Even if you're giving a bottle of these to somebody who is not a veteran, you're still giving an incredible bottle of whiskey. In particular, I want to talk about Hooten Young. So Hooten Young is a relatively new brand out of St. Petersburg, Florida. This is actually a bottle from batch number one. And Norm Hooten is a retired Delta Force operator. If you're not familiar with what that is, go watch Black Hawk Down. Eric Bana's character in that movie, that's Norm Hooten, literally the guy who made this whiskey. This is, um, this is actually a very special bottle. It was signed by Norm Hooten himself. And it's not mine. I borrowed this from a friend and I'm not allowed to open it, which I find wildly disappointing because I would love to taste this. The tasting notes that I've read on Hoot Young sound just delicious. Um, and a lot of thought and care went into the production of this bottle. This isn't a couple of guys I got together like, hey, we're gonna make whiskey. These are guys that are highly intelligent, very thoughtful about everything that they do and went through every step to make sure that they produced the best quality whiskey that they possibly could. So in addition to the Hoot and Young, there's also Horse Soldier Bourbon, which again, I have two bottles here that I'm not allowed to open, but they sound amazing. There is Lead Singer's Whiskey. There's a couple of different uh, veteran owned brands out there. I will get my hands on my own bottles of Horse Soldier and Hoot and Young. I'll let you know how they taste. So we've started this off talking about very special whiskeys. But I love the idea of giving a gift, which means a continuous flow of whiskey. What do I mean? Whiskey clubs. In particular, I'm a big fan and affiliate of Flaviar. Flaviar is a whiskey club that is membership based. So when you sign somebody up for a membership four times a year, once a quarter, they get sent little tasting bottles of whiskeys from around the world. What I love about this is that you get to try amazing whiskeys that either A, you might not be able to find locally, or B, just might not have tried because it was either cost prohibitive or you just weren't sure about the bottle, whatever the case may be. This gives you the opportunity to sample different whiskeys and then you can go buy the bottles that you really, really love. Memberships like this are not as expensive as you would think they are. Flaviar memberships like 20 bucks a month, seriously. But I think the idea of giving a, a club membership to what is essentially a whiskey fountain is brilliant. That's what I would like for Valentine's Day. So what if you're a little bit salty about Valentine's Day? I got you covered with salt, literally. You know, Valentine's Day doesn't always have to be this wildly romantic affair, right? Like it can be a time to celebrate with like friends or family or loved ones or just a good excuse to get together. And what I love about this salt block, this is, this is to cook with. I'll get to cocktails in a second. These are so much fun and it might seem like they're a little bit gimmicky, but they're actually, they're really, really cool. So there's a lot of different ways that you can use a salt block. First of all, if you're gonna cook on a salt block, like literally put it in your oven or put it on the grill, you need to temper it first. There's a ton of information online about how to do this, but please temper your salt block before putting it in the oven. However, if you don't wanna temper your salt block, you can still use this to cure things. For example, you can get two of these, put a nice piece of salmon in between them and salt cure your salmon. You can also use this to serve food on. And what's cool about that is that any food that comes in contact with the surface picks up some of the salt. So for example, hot summer day, if you wanna slice up some watermelon and serve it on this, it's gonna be salted. Same thing with cucumbers. Sashimi, if you wanted to do a shrimp cocktail and serve it on this, it's gonna pick up some of this salt. Absolutely amazing. I personally love salt blocks. I think this is super cool. What is new to me though, that I was unfamiliar with until this past Christmas, are salt chiller cubes for your cocktails. This is amazing. So this is the same type of Himalayan sea salt that this block is, but simply cut down into cube form. 
throw these in your freezer and then pop it in a cocktail. What kind of cocktail you ask? Personally, I would do two ounces of tequila, an ounce of simple syrup, half ounce of lime, throw a salt block in there and call it a day. My next idea has to do with giving inspiration. If you saw my holiday gift giving guide from December of 2020, you heard me talk about how much I love books. I really do. I love receiving books. I love giving books. I think the idea of giving somebody inspiration and education is so, so cool. So for Valentine's Day, I think it needs to be extra special. What I have here is the Aviary Reserve Edition. <laughs> What's amazing about this is that little feature, first of all, it comes in this beautiful presentation box. So right away opening it, it's like, whoa. And then within this beautiful presentation box is this very heavy book. So, you know, if your Valentine is maybe on the bad list, you could always bludgeon them with this. This book is part recipe book, part photography book, and all inspiration. It's unbelievably beautiful. This is the type of book where you may not end up making all of the cocktails in here because honestly, a lot of them are just like, they're wild. But if it's going to inspire you to try something new or think outside of the box, I think that that's incredible. Um, so the aviary, I definitely highly, highly, highly recommend this book. Um, the reserve edition actually comes with five different books. It comes with the aviary zero, which is about mocktails, the office, which is about classic cocktails. And then there is a holiday cocktail guide and a summer cocktail guide. So the aviary reserve edition is just really a luxurious, thoughtful, wonderful gift. So in keeping with the idea of beautiful presentation, I wanna wrap up these holiday gifts with the idea of what is traditionally a Valentine's Day gift, and that's flowers. So going to the florist and getting a, an arrangement of flowers is so nice. It's thoughtful, it's beautiful. Who doesn't love flowers? However, if you really wanna knock it out of the park, combining flowers with either a bottle of bourbon or a bottle of wine is kind of like top of the game, right? So this beautiful box that I have here was put together by Flower Bar. If you happen to live in Phoenix, Arizona, Flower Bar is absolutely amazing. Am I biased? Yes, it's my best friend and this is her floral design shop. Does that matter? No, because these are gorgeous. So for those of you who might not live in Phoenix, Arizona and might not be able to order these directly from Flower Bar, you can get in touch with your local florist and see what they can do about giving you a box with flowers for you to place a gift in. So many floral designers offer some version of that and then it elevates what is already a lovely gift and shows how much more thought went into it. So I hope these ideas help. I know Valentine's Day isn't for everybody, but you know what is for everybody? Whiskey. I love hearing from you guys. If you have other ideas for gifts or questions, leave me a comment below. I'm gonna put all kinds of links below to Flaviar, to the Aviary, to Flower Bar, to Salt Blocks. And if you've enjoyed this, hit that thumbs up. Make sure you smash that subscribe button. I'll see you next time for another cocktail video. Cheers, friends.